already started. So for this type of thingy, what we are going to need is a code thingy, right? I'm sorry, I'm saying thingy, guys. I don't know. I don't speak English. So whatever. Let's just create a nice assets folder. And here we're going to put our image uh, folder because we will be trying to get some images. Because who doesn't like a web page without images? Dude, we ain't ugly people. So, assets, uh, CSS. And we're not going to be using any JavaScript. We're not going to be using any other type of framework. This is pure HTML and CSS at the same time. It's not going to have flex or grid or anything like that. It will only it will have float values. We'll be moving things left to right because that's that's what i know guys so please accept me for me or go go find some other tutorial ha 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 so let me just get this party started and open up a nice live server very cool set up our little doc type uh boilerplate and let's call this what shall we call this guys mm so since this is going to be like a little hotel type of site, mm, let's call it Snuggle Zone. Snuggle in. Snuggle in. Ooh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> Snuggle in. Yes, that's copyright, guys. So if you, I see someone else having this, I'm going to sue you. And then just like everything, let's go with the... Uh, I've been trying to learn more about meta tags. So here, we're going to learn together. So we're going to create a meta tag, meta name, and then it's going to be the author. And I don't know if you guys are, if you guys are like slow or anything, but what you want to do is just in the, the content of the author, you want to write your name. So in this case, I'm going to put the gentleman very cool very awesome next tag we're gonna do meta name again and we're gonna be let's say description description i hope i'm spelling everything correctly to be honest with you guys if i'm not you could type in the comments and roast me so description let's check this out let's do uh welcome to our little home where or our little hotel where everyone is welcome to stay snuggled in a nice warm warm bed with complimentary complimentary hot chocolate damn hot chocolate from let's say from 8 to 10 p.m. you know that's like perfect movie time day moments you feel me guys I feel like I spelled description wrong, but I'm not going to fight the system. Yeah. At the same time, real quick, in our assets folder, let's create our CSS. We're going to be doing a nice external CSS file and name this the main CSS. Oh, yeah. Bad boy in the house. And now let's link this and then we're going to go and go to our main css very awesome and then also real quick i wanted to do something with you guys so pexels is gonna be our little spot where we're gonna be getting ourselves some or pixel bay Ooh, ooh, i forgot or pixel bay let's check this out too i forgot about pixel bay uh, i don't even know how to spell i'm very sorry anyways let's Let's get this party started. So, what we're going to search is hotel. 
and let's check this out. What's a good, nice looking hotel that says that it's snuggly? Mm. All of these seem whack. Um, hotel lobby. That one looks okay. Dang, this makes me want to go on vacation. <laughs> I'm sorry that we are all looking through pictures right now. I'm making you guys look through the... But hey, we're both cool people, okay? Uh, Just going to make sure that we download this exactly where we want to download this. And this is going to be in my... Uh, dang, guys. You're about to look through all my thingies. Uh, don't look. Uh, uh. Look away, look away. Alright, this is gonna be our... What are we... What should we call this? Our... Uh, what is it called? Showcase showcase image so this is our showcase image and also let's get uh, like a nice outside type of place so mm, ooh, yeah that looks disgusting I don't know, should we have? Or oh, this one looks nice. I hope this picture is going to be a good picture. And let's just do the download. And then this is going to be like outdoors. Very cool, very awesome. Thank you, Pexels. So we're going to be working with two images for the moment. And yes, anyways, we got our pictures here. Very cool, very awesome. Now, to let's get this party a little bit more started, what we're going to do now is I feel like this is it, right? Yeah, I feel like we're good, we're good, we're good. I hope you guys can see everything nicely. I don't know, I'll zoom in maybe. Can you guys see now? <laughs> And then let's start. So we're going to be using correct syntax. So we're going to make a header. Inside our header, we're going to create a nav bar as well as a little... Or inside our header, we're going to have a nav bar. And we're also going to have uh, the little showcase inside our little header. And inside the showcase is going to be like a nice background picture and all that fun stuff. Also, real quick, we're going to have an H1, and it's going to be, why is this not reloading? And this is going to be called Snuggle Very cool, very awesome. I don't know, let's have like a nice little design, you know. I'm trying to be a cool guy, I'm trying to be a designer. Hardy har har. And then inside our nav, let's create our UL. Also, this might be a nice little continuation of a project, if you, anything. We're gonna create, I forgot, in our assets. I'm sorry, guys, I'm very disorganized. We're gonna have a pages. Inside our pages, we're gonna have the about page, which we are going to create as well. So, about the HTML. And oops. And contact. Not much, you know, simple pages. Bada bing bada boom. And this is gonna be located assets pages about about. Very cool. At the same time. Oh, I'm gonna do one more. I want 
wanted to do is actually call this the index because this is going to be our little home button this is going to be our little oh this is the correct one and this is going to be our uh, contact very awesome yo guys and to be honest with you i've been thinking about adding in music to these little videos let me know because yeah i would like to know if you guys like listening to music while you work please let me know at the same time right here we want our h1 because we are modern people in this time era and we usually have our uh, little logo this is supposed to be our little logo but we're not we're not that professional yet so yeah i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about i will show you guys what i'm talking about actually we're also gonna give this a nice little class oops a nice little class of logo as well very awesome correct domingo at the same time i forgot to do something uh we want to give a little container. I'm gonna give a nice little container div because we want to be able to put this in a container where at least the nav bar in the container so it can be like nice and around the edges and stuff. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? Do you do you get what I'm trying to say? Cause I could always explain to you in a different way if anything hardy har har anyways let's get this party started um i feel like we're pretty much good on this and yeah let's check it out let us start working on the css aspect let's make this a little bit bigger so i started to use comments and stuff and what we're going to do with this is just pretty much make everything a lot more organized than it is. So, what I'm trying to say here is, it's just pretty much going to be our reset for the whole CSS thing. So, we're going to be using the asterisks, and then we're going to make everything margin zero, padding zero. At the same time, we're going to give the border sizing, right? Border size border size border style or box size I'm so sorry I don't know why I always I'm starting to confuse that and it's really annoying then we're gonna create our little main heading or our little main styling and this is gonna have like the HTML and the body and then what we want to do is just give it a new font Mm. font because we are fancy schmancy over here font family mm. I don't know let's go with uh Segio. how does that look oh that looks really cute the G's look really snuggled ha interesting i know i know and then also let's give it a nice line height because like i feel like everything is really clumped up let's go like 1.5 how does that look uh, okay it doesn't look like it changed anything um is it changing anything i don't think like oh there we go One point eight. All right, I feel like that's one point one point seven. Let's just go with one point seven. I don't know. That looks good enough. All right, and then also let me just do it so all of our links are gonna be styled. So text decoration none. 
because I really don't like how they have the underlines. Let's give it another color for the moment. Let's give them like nice gray. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. And then let's give them. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. We can start going with the nav bar. So after that, let's go with nav bar. And then just real quick. Oh, I forgot. So right here, we want to give the nav an ID of navbar i'm so sorry holy shit holy schneiser and then also what i want to do too is give a nice hover effect so we want to give this since we are working on the home page right now we want to give this a nice current class you know okie dokie i feel like this is now all good i really hope so Yes, I hope so. Okie dokes. Anyways. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. So, nav bar. So, now we can select our nav bar. Oops. And now we can change the color. Let's go like. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, yeah. Nice dark color. Give it like. Hmm. Oh, it's not going to work because do you guys want to know why? And then also just overflow hidden. Because we have to select our boom, put a boom links. So have. Bar and then, oops, nav bar. Select the links or the at attribute. Oh no, anchor tag element. My bad. Wow. Okay, there we go. You guys see? Now it looks very nice. At the same time, I don't know. You guys feel like we need to change the color? You guys like the color? I feel like we can change the color to something else, like. Mm. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's just keep it like that. For the now, for now. Nav bar. And at the same time, what we want to do inside our nav bar is select the H1. We want to float that bad boy to the left and then give it like a padding of 20 or like 10 10 pixels all around there we go looks nice all right i don't know let's change the color what i this is a nice little spot to get some nice colors or a nice little website apparently um see how this color looks like okay that looks really nasty <laughs> um, are you sure I'm pretty sure I had better latest palettes Let's go with this one. I like the color blue a lot lately, so we're going to be playing with this. All right, let's see how this one looks. Oh, yeah. So good. And then, I don't know. Let's see how this looks like.
Oh, wait. Well, I'm so silly. I'm so silly. So silly. Okay, we're going to go like that. Anyways, let's go back. We're going to we're just going to save that there for now. All right, and with the other thing, so since we are working with lists or a UL, an unordered list, we want that to flow to the right. Just like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that bad boy just flow to the right. At the same time, we want to get rid of the list style to none. So we don't have those any circles. At the same time, now we want to try to select the lists. So the li pretty much, I'm sorry. So nav bar l and li and we want to float that to the left so boom you see how they are like that now right next to each other very hot very beautiful and then since they are list inside the little little items we have anchor tags so that's what we are like really working with so oops we just want to select those and the reason I'm like going like this is because of specificity. I just want to be very specific with with I with what I select. We're gonna just give them a nice little block element, and then give them each padding of like 20 pixels all around. Hey, look at that coming together. And then let's just make them text align in the center. So I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen a. I've just like created a little video earlier about the little nav bars, about creating a little nav bar. This is basically it. So yeah, I'm learning guys. This is nothing so special. I'm sorry it's basic. I'm just, yeah. After this, let's just be able to create a nice little hover effect. So we're going to be changing the background color. Let's change it to what this color was. So All right, let's go with this one. This one looks like it's a much better color. Much better color. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Look, this guy's designer in training looks like buns. Maybe this one. There we go. It looks. There we go. Just nice subtle subtleness. It's so beautiful. Yes. And then also let's give it a nice little color change of text. So instead of white, what goes good? What goes good with blue? Let's see how red looks like. I think it's gonna be overkill. Ew. Looks like some clown thing. Just gonna duplicate that. Let's check it out. What goes good? Yeah, it looks like red or a nice little wine color goes good with blue. Gordon McQueen, ew. Coral Sunset. Interesting. I might have to go with that. So, do you tell me like a nice little. Oh, wait a minute. I know what to go with. Hashtag. How do you make the color yellow? <laughs> okay. I got this, guys. So, let's see how this looks like. It looks kind of okay. Kind of like, eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make it look cool. I'm sorry. Mm, oh, dang. This looks tough. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. What? We can probably just... 
But I want to make it a different color. Black Delilah. Let's go with this color right here. Disgusting color. Holy snap. This one. Disgusting. I mean, since we are working with a lighter color, let's go light and dark. Oh my god. Guys, I'm very sorry. Holy snap. I feel like I'm just ruining everything. <sighs> if anything, just skip. Just skip me trying to get a nice color. You know, I'm not the best. Mm. Oh, this navy blue looks nice. See, I don't know. Um, this, let's go with Autumn Flames, uh, this orange, or, yeah, yeah, let's just go with orange, orange and blue, that's the new style, gotta love it, oh, at the same time, what I want to do as well is make it so this is going to be nav bar ULLI and anything that has that current. Yes. So you guys see how this has that class of current. There we go. Now it makes it look much better. And then after that, I feel like that's pretty much our nav bar. So now what we can do basically after that is work on our little section div or our little section thing. And that's where our photo is going to come in. So, oh, wait, wait, actually, actually, I forgot something. Uh... So you guys see how like it is? It's kind of trashy, you know? Not so cool, not so awesome. You guys see how like it's like all oh, really close to that and it's not so good? Well, here, let me tell you something, how we can fix this. So you guys remember how we got that container div right here? Yes, very cool, very awesome. So, I mean, right under the main styles, Let's create a nice little uh, utility belt for us. So these are going to be styles that we're going to be using throughout our project. So anything that has the container div, we'll be able to like finesse it. So what we want to do is give it a margin of auto, a width of like a hundred and I think five. 150 100 pixels okay and let's get the overflow of auto as well as let's give it some padding from nothing on the top but like let's see how 10 pixels looks like where did our thing go Oh, there it is. 10 pixels from the left and the right. Let's go like 20 pixels. There we go. Now we got everything that's going to be centered. But this is just our nav bar that's going to be centered. That's all. Okay. Very cool. Very awesome. So that's pretty much our little cool container. Now real quick i feel like that's that's pretty much it i'm pretty sure and hmm. oh at the same time while we're over here i forgot what we can do real quick is with the h1 as well give a little bit of padding on the bottom of like 
20 pixels. Oh, well, this is going to be for, I guess it didn't show anything, but like, this is going to be for the future. I, okay. So let's move on to back to the HTML aspect and let's create a, a nice uh, showcase div. Div of showcase and inside here we're gonna give this a so a container container and inside this container we're gonna give another div with a class of content showcase content and then we're gonna give a h or not an h1 let's give like a h2 because we want to try and keep at least one h1 around town so I'll give a nice h2 of uh what's this, what should our thingy be um Happy to have you. Oh, why did I question it? I'm dead. Happy to have you. And then what we're going to do is give this a span. And then we're going to give this a span and give this a class of text primary because I want to change that first word of happy and then after that we're going to give a nice paragraph and then this is going to be like our leading text and then what are we going to say like uh welcome or this has been in this this in it's new and improved built with the latest tech as well as best comfort com I don't know how to spell I'm sorry comfort for you and your family at the same time for just you to get away it has all uh all the latest features da 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 and then after that we want to give this a nice uh link to the about page oh, I'm sorry what the heck is going on assets pages about and then about the in I mean what's the difference between an inn and uh, a hotel I feel like that's the same thing I don't know I feel like it's the same thing also, we're going to give this a class of button. And yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. Now we can go back to styling again. Just remember the tags and the classes. So now that we have everything that we need. 
<clears throat> Real quick, what I want to do is in the main style tab, just add in the H2 to have some padding on the bottom, and then just H3 just in case, because we've reset all of our all of our uh, margin and pattern for everything so because we want to make sure it's Gucci at the same time what we want to do is for the utilities is set up so we have a text of primary which is gonna be given the color of what is this orange that we have Oh dang, that looks like a nasty orange, but it's okay. I'm so sorry guys, I had to just drink some water. Or some coffee. Okie dokie. At the same time, our leading text, which is inside of our paragraph, we want our lead class to get have a font size of like 20. So pretty big size, you know. There we go. Beautiful. Wait, wait. Yeah, I was about to say what happened. Okie dokie. And also we want to add in a button class. Cause I wanna be able to create this link into a button. Or make it look like a button so we can make it so it'll display I want it to be a block but also in line I, don't, I just don't want to have it a big bar I just want to yeah you see how it looks like that just like that a font size of 18 Give it a color of uh, white, I guess. Good. Uh, and then give it a background color. Background color. This is going to be of this right here. And... Boom, looks beautiful, excellent. Now what we want to do is give it a padding. So we want a padding of three, about 13 pixels up and down. And then I'm pretty sure it's up and down. Let's check it out. Cause I can, I sometimes get confused. Yes, up and down and then left and right. Let's give it like 20. There we go. Nice, nice and big. Just how it's gotta be done. But I want to get rid of the border because I don't know. I feel like it's. There we go. You sometimes you can see it. Sometimes you can't see it. And then also give it a cursor of the pointer cursor because at the same time I feel like that's pretty much we're pretty much done. Unless you guys want to add in some more of uh, more design or anything like that. That's, that's basically my little style. At the same time, give it a nice little button of hover. Very cool. Give it a background color. So when it hovers, we're going to make it so it gets this color. At the same time, the text is going to be, let's give it the text like 333. Okay. Should we like font, wait, like. Nah. 
We good, we're good. Yeah, just simple, simple. We're just keeping it simple. Okay, and then after... Th I'm so sorry, guys. Oof. And then after that, now we can work on our little showcase, I guess. We just set up the little utilities. Now we can go ahead and actually work on the little showcase itself. So, with the showcase, real quick. So, we're going to be working with the showcase div. So, showcase. And then, what we're going to do is give it a background. And this is where we're going to be using the pictures. So, we're going to go with the assets. Image. And we're going to be using our little showcase dot jpeg. And we're just going to make it so it doesn't repeat. But I also want to try and do something. Oh. What happened? Um, center, or, I'm so sorry, center, center slash color, nothing, showcase, Still nothing? Asset, assets, assets, image. Did I do the URL wrong? What's going on? Maybe I gotta give it a height. Maybe it's. Let's go like 500. Oh, pixels, nothing, what, oh, there we go, I am so slow, oh yeah, look at this, It looks very, very nice. Excellent. Very, very nice. And real quick. Hmm. Give me. One sec, because there's something that I don't like about this. Apparently, how? Uh, I don't know. You see how, like, everything this. Maybe if it's me, maybe it's not me. I just don't like how, like, when I, like. It's not. Resp this is not supposed to be responsive. But, hmm. I don't know why it's doing this type of thing. Where when I shrink it. It like also dies. I don't know if it's me. Mm. Anyways, at the same time, what I want to do is everything with the paragraph because I don't like how the paragraph looks like. Everything with the paragraph, let's give like a margin of like 10 and 0. 10 pixels. There we go. Just so there's space. And hmm, maybe I did something wrong. Because it, maybe it's something with the nav bar. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, anyways. I don't know. I I really don't know. Anyways. Hmm. Can it be with because of this? Or I'm so sorry, where's the con because of the container? Bro, it just doesn't make sense. In my opinion. I don't know. Why are you doing this to me, bro? Why don't you just stop? Okay, well, hmm. I really don't know. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to stop complaining for the moment. Let's just con carry on with this. So, well, well let's do this. So, with the showcase, we want to... Work with the showcase, Kante. Oh, I'm so sorry. Showcase. Content. And H1. And then, mm, font size, let's make that a little bit bigger. So like, 60 pixels. And, oh, content. Why don't you? Oh, this is because it's H2. I am so sorry. Dang, guys. Wow. So instead of 60 pixels, let's go with like 50. At the same time, I want to be able to create a little gradient. Gradient over picture MDN. Hmm. Background image. Do we put Okay, so yeah, so we can do, let's just see what's going to happen once we go like that. So background, image, <laughs> 
Why? Do we not put this? Okay, so if we don't put that, it'll work. No, repeat. Do I go away? What if we do a comma? No, re. Oh, what do we have to do like separate then? So background. No repeat. Nope. Interesting. Background cover. Hmm. Do we have to do it all by one? So background, repeat, no repeat. And then what else do we have? Center, so background. Position, center. Yeah, center, no repeat, cover. Okay. At the same time, let's change the color to a nice blue color. So just how beautiful this color is already. This is going to make things a little bit better, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know, guys. I just wanted to do that. I'm very sorry. All right. So now that we've gotten that, then we fixed... Let's go with the line height of like, I don't know, one, yeah, one point two. Yes, that's actually good, very good, awesome. We got some space up there, and then let's do the same thing for the paragraph tag. Okay, and let's go with padding, bottom, and let's go 20 pixels. Give the button some breathing space. Line height 1.7. Okay, one line height. Mm, one, oh, one EM. 1.5 Yeah, let's go with 1.5 is good And At the same time I don't know uh, Real quick uh, Forgot the most important one I'm so silly we forgot to talk about the showcase content. I was so focused on the the little other things. So showcase content. I was like text align center. There we go. 
Let's give it the color of white or There we go. At the same time, let's give like a padding all around when like 170 pixels. There we go. So nice in the center. Button hovers. Still don't understand this right here. I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't really know why the nav bar is acting like that when I don't want it to act like that. Hmm. But anyways, so far I guess this is looking pretty alright. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty okay too. Just don't like how this is acting up. But anyways, let's move on. Now, since we have uh, finished up with our pretty much our uh, showcase and our nav bar, now let's add in our like real content. So it would be like the features and the footer. So yeah. once we're done with the header, let's move down and create a section called features. Give it an ID of features. Inside here, we're gonna give it three boxes. So div box, and then we're gonna use emit and do times three. And then this is gonna be, oh, we're gonna also be using font awesome. But before we do that, let's set this up. So this is gonna have H3. And this is going to be meals. And, or this is going to have great location. Or one sec, one sec, guys. I gotta just do something real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to get, make myself a little bit more comfortable. Alright, so great location. So let's write like. 10 words a great location so perfect spot to see the sun set and close enough towards um fun activities And then for this one, we're going to give it another H3. We're going to be like uh, free meals. And then what we're going to do is like uh, what is this? snuggle in is meant to be able to snuggle so why not with a free hot cocoa hot cocoa awesome and then in this one it's going to be, I don't know, fitness room. Oh, yeah, fitness room. And then we're going to be like perfect um, or like. 
like the best. Or when feeling out of shape, we have the best fitness room to make you feel better. I don't know. Something cool like that, I guess. At the same time, what we're going to be doing is also, I want this one to have a different background. So this is going to have a background of primary. This is going to have a background of light. And this is going to have a background or snap. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sleeping on you. So this is about. This is gonna be a background of light. This is gonna be a background of light. And then this right here is primary. Awesome. At the same time, I don't know about you, but have you guys ever heard about what is it called? Boom, boom, boom font awesome we're gonna be using font awesome it is kind of okay it's not like anything out of the ordinary but yeah it's okay and i feel like i skipped something to be honest with you and yes yes i did so real quick we're gonna add in this font awesome real quick. Uh, boom, right above our style sheet. And then before we continue, hold up. We're missing, cause we, we gotta use the other picture, right? All right guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna continue this later. I'm, I'm, really, I'm feeling really tired. Uh, I'm gonna just leave off right here and I'll get to you guys tomorrow, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow.